Hello, my friends, and welcome again. Today, we're going to be talking about embellishments. So when you watch someone play the Native American flute and you listen to them, you hear all sorts of haunting tricks, and it seems like it might be really hard. Well, today we're going to explore how simple it actually is, and we're going to dive into how to practice it and how to do it. So right away, you'll hear things from the Native American flute, like... Right? It sounds like it might be really difficult. And it may be difficult to get really good at it, but really it just takes, you know, patience and practice. So what we're doing is three things. So just like when we talk and we pronounce things, you say T or T, right? So when you do that, Okay, so that's one way to get started, right? It's just T, T, you know, you put your tongue to the roof of your mouth, T, 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 like Tommy, right? So the other way, or another embellishment is Ticka. I like to call them the Ticka Tickas. When you say Ticka, Ticka, tick, 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 do that inside of your flute. Okay, it sounds a little bit difficult and it is difficult to get going really fast and to do it on time and stuff like that, but it just takes time, practice and patience. Okay, another really great embellishment is rolling your R's just like you would, right? Like you're purring like a cat, right? Right, and what you're doing is you're fluttering your tongue at the roof of your mouth. So you're basically saying T, but really fast at the top of your mouth, right? So. Right. And a really great way to use that is that is at the very end of a phrase or going through a phrase. Right? So these three tricks playing the Native American flu are really part of a big part of the way that makes it sound so enchanting and so haunting and so attractive to, you know, to play. So if you do all three of them at the same time, you could put them where you want to. And that really is what gives your playing character and you get to put them where you want. So here's a little demonstration. So it's a lot of fun, guys. Be kind to yourself. Be patient. Have fun doing this. If you're not having fun doing this, then there's no reason to play the flute. So have a lot of fun. Practice, 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 and you'll get there. And I really recommend getting a metronome and playing along with a metronome. It really helps you build that muscle because the more that you do this, the more that muscle will build and the more control you'll have with it. So again, guys, have fun. Keep playing. Like, share, and subscribe. More tips and tricks on the way. Have a great day, guys. Thanks for your support.